OK, so today we're going to create a CI workflow for InfluxDB. Uh, and to get started, you'll create a .argo directory in the root of the InfluxDB project. So inside the .argo directory, you'll see some Argo YAMLs that we've created to define the CI workflow. Uh, so here we have an InfluxDB workflow template. It takes two inputs, the InfluxDB repo URL and the commit to build and test. There are four steps, checkout, build, test, and coverage. And each of these steps will refer to another template, which describes how the step will execute. Uh, this, these steps can be containers or even other workflows. Um, taking a look at the build step, you'll see that it is a template of type container and runs the golang 1.8 image from Docker Hub to perform the build. It accepts the source code as an input artifact and copies it to a location inside the container. It produces one output artifact, which Argo will automatically store after completion of the step. So now we'll go ahead and submit the job using the Argo CLI. The local option simply means to use the local version of the template instead of the one already pushed to the repo. Using the CLI, you can see what jobs are running in the cluster, monitor their progress, and even tail the logs of each container as they are executing. The tree view displays a high-level overview of the workflow and indicates the status and result of each step. In this example, the checkout and build steps have completed successfully. It is currently executing the unit test and has yet to execute the code coverage. So another way you can monitor the progress of your jobs is through the Argo UI. From here, you can see a high-level overview of your job. You can download artifacts from individual steps. And if your artifact is an HTML artifact, you can even browse the artifact directly from the UI. Here, we'll look at the code coverage reports from the code coverage step. Once you've finished writing your Argo templates and checked it into source, you'll want to integrate your repository to Argo. Once added, you'll then be able to trigger jobs directly from the UI or through policies or a REST API. Thanks, everyone, and please feel free to try out Argo from argoproj.io.